I'm working on something for Bastille Days. Viva la MKE. Viva la MKE. I'm gonna have a gonna have a Eiffel Tower in there and some Milwaukee stuff. I see the world in illustration, in paintings. I can't look at a scene without thinking, oh, that would make a great, a great watercolor, a great sketch, or I want to sketch that. I get excited about looking at things in that way. It's just something I have to do. I can't even define necessarily the reason why I want to create artwork. It's just, it's just like this need, this like overwhelming uh, uh, pull to do it. Uh, it's a calling, because if I don't do it, I don't feel right. It's, uh, it's a way of life. These are some of James's original artwork. This is the original Milwaukee wave, and James actually made some notes about the color blue that he used on this piece. This is a fun piece, Elephophobia, which is fear of the deer. His art is what makes our household run. I mean, it is what he loves to do, and I think there's no greater joy to see your spouse doing what they were meant to do and making a living and being very successful at it. We have nothing but love for this city, and we want to share it with everybody. We're ambassadors for Milwaukee. We travel the state. We have our Milwaukee artwork no matter where we go, and it is so fulfilling to see how much joy James's artwork brings to people over and over, and we've made a lot of good friends. I mean, like, people we see every single weekend because their thing is going to, like, art fairs or street fairs, so they, they become your friends, and they not only come to visit us at these events, but they love James's artwork so much that they want to see what's new. They're continually adding to their, their collections, and. We're very fortunate that James' artwork continues to, you know, be in their collections. Art shows are a lot of work. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears for, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you also, that is your opportunity to talk with the people who enjoy your artwork and hear what they have to say. And it really feeds into what I might do and how I might work. but. When I create, I, I, I think about those things. I actually make physical lists of what people are talking about. And like when it's back to creative time in the cool, slow winter months, you know, I can pull up my list and then kind of use it as a as a springboard to what I'm going to produce. It's uh, an average day. It's a lot more relaxing. I can kind of like go about the day in a little more a little more peaceful manner. <laughs> um, if I have a painting day, I know. Kind of get it myself set up, get my table cleaned off, get my ideas put together, and sometimes I'll work and I'll get a couple pieces going at one time, and I'll sit and paint on them uh, until uh, I can't. And there still is a very, very much an interest in the artwork that reflects places people understand, people know, people visit, or they see every day. Yeah, these places are cool. It kind of puts it on a pedestal, but not in an over obvious way. It's still artfully done, and it's, it's supposed to be kind of a natural kind of thing. And yeah, I, I think that's kind of the job of an, of an artist or a creator to like maybe make 
regular life more interesting or you know look at it in a different way or maybe even look at it the same way as everybody else it's a connection and I, I think my work is kind of an extension of that where I want to look at places we all recognize and maybe we've seen a thousand times but I kind of want to look at them in new ways it's just part of an imagining of like what would it be if Jones Island was taken over by <laughs> dinosaurs <laughs> Someone at Pride Fest bought it, and then they tagged us on Instagram, and like this was like the best artwork they had ever bought. Like they were so excited about it. That was a lot of fun. I'd li I'd like to expand on the on the concept, maybe try different areas around town and and Jurassicify it. I guess I have some Dutch heritage, and uh, I always feel a, a connection to Van Gogh, and I I, I like the uh, the swirly feel that and the line work that in his work and it's something I sometimes put into my pieces but it kind of has the, the watery ripply feel and the sky is alive and the lights reflected in the water and I just kind of change it to the word Milwaukee and just have fun with it. We do a show near a pickleball court and I've listened to the, the paddles all day long. It's like one of those visual puns that's just ripe. It's just I want to do that. <laughs> there are some people that buy artwork for the the board pun, the visual puns of it. Um, they don't even play pickleball, but they like they like they think it's funny. I think it was 2020 when all of this. Just like the pandemic. Piece. The the waves out in the front um, kind of the lake level was high, and the waves are causing troubles on the, the breakwater and right where the Mount Fuji usually is. The, the art museum is actually the opposite shape of that going the other way so I just I think it kind of fits with the, the weather sometimes the whole concept of bowls and putting badgers in them just made a lot of sense um, to me anyways I, I, I love the humor but it, it it's not your typical badger artwork that's a good way to put yeah. it <laughs> <laughs>Most of my work is very local, very Wisconsin, very Midwest. But uh, yeah, we send Wisconsin type artwork all over the world. There's clearly Milwaukee, Milwaukeeans scattered everywhere who still take great pride in this city and, and Wisconsinites. I mean, it's amazing. We send it to every corner of the United States. We ship overseas. People have a connection. And in fact, we have a customer we've never met who just sent us a photo of her gallery wall, which was sort of like a trip through James Dino history yeah. <laughs> of all of the artwork that she has purchased from him. And I would say at least two thirds of the artwork was from James. It was just this morning and we got an Instagram message from someone who had reached, reached out to us because they were looking for some local Milwaukee art and they went on Reddit and asked and people recommended James Dino. I think there's a lot of places to go yet. I could probably spend the rest of my life finding views and vistas around town. I mean, it's a good thing the skyline's constantly evolving. So I'm like, it seems like every year I have to create new, new work to reflect what's going on. Not only Milwaukee, like you've been adding Door County artwork, Madison artwork. People see what he does for Milwaukee and they want that for the city they live in. You know, you can't, one thing people ask us, they, you can't measure like how, how much, how well known I am or, or how well people know my work or not. It's, it's a tough thing to measure, but it's always fun to see people enjoying the artwork and it's, uh, it definitely, uh, informs what I do, but it also gives me like the energy and the inspiration to keep on going. Like I, I think a lot of times I feel like I, I owe it to people to keep on going as long as I can producing this artwork so that it's uh, that there's something there for them to enjoy for years to come. Thanks for watching the arts page. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more stories of art in our community.